tell the whole entire world on YouTube, on LinkedIn, on Facebook that I love you all so much. I want to tell the whole entire world in every country, every nationality, every race of people that I love you all so much. Listen to me very close because I mean this. I am a motivational speaker and I am a certified professional life coach that really loves you and I really care about you. And I want to make this thing personal with you today. I want to speak to your heart. I want to speak to your heart. Listen, two things. I want to speak from my heart and I want to speak to your heart. I want to go ahead and give you your flowers while you are alive. Did you catch that? I'm here to give you your flowers while you are still living. I'm giving you your flowers while you are alive. You have something special. You have greatness within you. You are a masterpiece because you are a piece of the master. And I want to take a few minutes to just motivate you, inspire you, encourage you, and empower you and build you up. I want to build you up because there is so much negativity going on in this country. There is so much negativity going on in our world. There is so much going on in this country. There is so much going on in our world. People are spreading evil all across our country. People are spreading evil all across our world. And I'm here to spread love. I'm here to spread peace. I'm here to spread joy. I'm here to spread happiness. I'm here to spread hope. I'm here to give you hope. And I want to say this to you. If they knew, if they knew how much you cry in secret, then it would not, then it would not bother them to see you win. I think you just missed that. So let me say it again. If they knew how much you cry in secret, if they knew how much tears you had to shed in secret, if they knew how depressed you are in secret, then it would not bother them to see you win. If they knew, if they knew how much you had to cry behind closed doors, if they knew how much you suffered behind closed doors, then they would not, it would not bother them to see you win. Listen, I cried behind closed doors. I shed a lot of tears in secret. I suffered in silence. I was depressed when nobody knew it. If they knew how much you had to cry behind closed doors, if they knew how much pain you were in behind closed doors, then it would not bother them to see you win. And I'm telling you, I want to see you win. And let me say this. Maybe I'm talking to someone that's secretly depressed. Maybe I'm talking to someone you, you're, dealing with an, you're dealing with a sickness. Maybe I'm talking to someone you're dealing with an infirmity. Maybe I'm talking to someone you got bad health news. You, you're dealing with cancer, heart problems, diseases, sicknesses, infirmities. Maybe you're dealing with a mental illness. Maybe I'm talking to someone you are grieving because you lost a loved one. Maybe I'm talking to someone you got bad news that you are about to die. Listen, don't you give up until it's, it is not over. It's not over for you yet. I don't care how bad the news is. It's not over. You keep fighting. You keep fighting. I know you're crying in the midnight hour. I know you're pacing the floor back and forth. I know you're heartbroken because the person you love is sick. I know you're heartbroken.
heartbroken because you're sick yourself. I know you're in pain. You're stressed out because you are depressed. You're grieving because you lost a loved one. I know you're stressed out because you're dealing with anxiety. You're worried. You are afraid. If that's you, I want you to keep fighting. Don't you stop. Don't you quit. Don't you give up. I don't care what the doctor said. You believe for your healing. You believe, you tell yourself every day, I am healed. I don't care what the report, the bad report the doctor gave you. It is not over until it's over. You decree and you tell yourself, I am going to live and I will not die. Listen, I know what it's like to be at rock bottom. I know what it's like to be mistreated. I know what it's like to be abandoned. I know what it's like to be talked about. I know what it's like to be bullied. I know what it's like to fail. I know what it's like to almost die. I've been there, done that. I know what it's like. I know what it's like to not believe in yourself. There were times in my life told Dr. Campbell that I did not believe in myself. But there was something on the inside of me that would not let me stop. There was something on the inside of me that would not let me quit. Every time I failed, I kept trying. Every time I got depressed, I kept fighting. Every time they talked about me, I kept fighting. Every time they abandoned me, I kept fighting. Every time they lied on me, I kept fighting. Every time they walked out of my life and they hurt me, I kept fighting. If they knew how much you cried in secret, then it would not bother them to see you win. I want to see you win. If they knew the pain you're going through right now. If they knew what your spouse did to you. If they knew what your co-worker, your job, your sickness, your depression, your mental illness, the, adult, the, 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 the pain. If they knew how bad it really hurt you. It would not bother them to see you win. If they knew what you were really going through. It would not bother them. To see you successful. I know what you're going through. I see you. I see you. I know the depression is real. I know the grief is real. I know the health scare. The sickness. The anxiety. The depression. The suicide attempt. The bad marriage. The bad relationship. The toxic relationship. The bad environment. The bad childhood. Being violated when you were a child. Being raped. Being told that you will never amount to anything. I know that bothered you. But you know what? I want to see you win. You deserve to win. You deserve the blessings. You deserve the favor. You deserve to open doors. You deserve to start your business. You deserve to graduate college. You deserve to become a nurse. You deserve to become a doctor. You deserve to become a lawyer. You deserve to become a professional athlete. You deserve to get that promotion on that job. You deserve to work in corporate. You deserve to be a millionaire. You deserve to have joy. You deserve to have peace. You deserve to have happiness. You deserve to travel the country. You deserve to travel the world. You deserve to fly first class. You deserve to live your best life. You deserve it. If they knew how much you cried in secret, then it would not bother them to see you win. If they knew what you are really going through, it would not bother them to see you win in every area of your life. And I have good news for you. I want to see you win in every area of your life. I want to see you be a better father. I want to see you be, a, be the number one father. I want to see you be a better mother. I want to see you be the number one mother. I want to see you be a better husband. I want to see you be the number one husband. I want to see you be a better wife. I want to see you be the number one wife. If they knew how much you cried in secret, then it would not bother them to see you win. I want to see you blessed. I want to see you healthy. I want to see you whole. I want to see you prosperous. Maybe you're on that job. 
Maybe you're making a lot of money on your job, but you're still not happy with your job. And maybe you want to venture out and start your own business. Maybe you want to be your own boss. Maybe you're not happy at your job. Maybe you don't know your gifts. Maybe you don't know what your talents are. Maybe you don't know what you're supposed to do. Maybe you're, maybe you're settling, working for that job because you don't know what you're really called to do. Figure it out. I want you to brainstorm and figure out what you are gifted to do. Figure out what you are talented at and go after your gifts. Follow your gifts. Do what you love to do. Do what you're passionate about. You know you're not happy on that job. You know you hate waking up every day and going to that job where you have to do enough just to where you have to do enough just to keep from getting fired. Someone telling you when to clock in, someone telling you when to clock out, someone telling you when to come to work, and someone telling you when to go home. You have something special. You have greatness within you. If they knew how much you cried in secret, then it would not, it would not bother them to see you win. I want to see you win. I want to see you go from tears of joy. I want to see you go to tears of I want to see you go from tears of sorrow. And I want to see you go to tears of joy. There's a difference. I want to see that sorrow turn to joy. I want to see that sadness turn to happiness. You have something special. You have greatness within you. You are a masterpiece because you are a piece of the master.